Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. Now, this is finally the offensive video that I'm going to be doing for you guys. I'm going to uh, split the scheme up into a couple of parts. The first part is going to be all about one single play. It's the bread and butter play of this formation. And I'll just grab the controller and we'll go right into it. I'm going to talk about double post. But before talking about double post, a couple of things. Please subscribe to the channel and also follow my Twitch. I'm going to be way more active on Twitch now. Got a good streaming PC. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. Just make sure to follow there. Turn on post notifications to make sure that you get notified once I get live. I'm pretty much going to be streaming every week in League from now on. And every game on that. So it, sh it should be fun. Also, I'm planning on doing a second channel where I'll just upload the weekend League games uh, with no music. So you can check that out if you want to. Because sometimes, if you watch the, if you rewatch the Twitch broadcast, it might just happen that the, some parts are, are cut out because I'm using music and Twitch doesn't want that. So you can uh, watch my second channel for full games. Now, let's talk about double post and the people we need for it. On running back, there are only a couple of abilities we need. We need uh, a running back with backfield mismatch. The work done is the guy I'm using, and we need a guy with slot apprentice drew bennett is the guy is the guy i'm using now the other wide receivers i have got are mark clayton and jerry rice great route runners great good speed on jerry rice great speed on mark clayton and those are the people i need for my scheme man talking about the play though let's let's get into it there are a couple of setups i want to show you guys i'll start with the man coverage because that's the most important one right now so, how do you beat man coverage? Very simple, just put Thielen on a drag and yeah, you will see why this is good. Now, we will be doing a very standard setup of the QB spy because we're gonna have Lamar Jackson in ultimate team, right guys? We're gonna have a scrambling quarterback, right? I, th I thought so. Uh, ju just making sure, okay? Uh, I need Julio Jones on a motion snap. So I'm gonna motion snap him right now. Once again, just drag on Thielen. That's the whole setup. Motion snap, and there are a couple of routes that beat man coverage. I'll just throw one of them here, and I'll go into uh, replay and show you guys all the routes that all the routes that beat man coverage. So let's go ahead, zoom out a little bit. Let's focus on uh, Michael Thomas. Thank you uh, on his C route, so he doesn't get bumped right here. He beats man coverage. You see, I threw the ball to the running back, which is why he cut off the route. But you see there is a step right there, and you can throw that. I did not mean to hit circle, my bad. So, that's one route that's, that beats main coverage. Now, we also saw the running back beats run, uh, the main coverage from a linebacker. Greg Olson right here is actually the guy that does not beat main coverage, so kind of sad. But four people that beat main coverage on one play is enough, in my opinion. Let's look at the drag, because the drag route is generally a route that beats main coverage, but it's kind of funky. It can beat it. It's just not a guarantee. So, let's look at it. If it, if it beat man coverage right here, yes, it beat it very nicely. And also, let's look at the post. Because the post is pretty much the money maker in this, in this play. That is something that has to be user guarded pretty much. It beats man coverage. It beats a lot of zone coverages. So that has to be user guarded. So we, so we want to so know if... Uh, I just spoil it. but Yes, so you see it beats man coverage. If I throw that with a pass lead inside at this precise moment, it can be a touchdown if my receiver is fast enough it's gonna be a big completion though and that's what we want the tight end right here actually no he does not beat man coverage like that's that's not open that's a great route against uh, zone coverage and i'll show you that in a moment but not against man coverage now that is one way to beat man coverage i want to show you another way a tight end drag is a very very useful thing you guys now the second setup is going to be uh, block the halfback drag on olsen and put thielen on a zig now, all of the four routes that are on the field right now beat man coverage. I just want to show you the zig and the drag though. Drag is wide open and this zig also gets open. Now, I can throw, show you another var var uh, variation of the tight end drag. I can put him on a drag, also on a drag, Thielen on the corner route. Remember the slot apprentice corner route. And the corner route be beats man coverage. It's, it's stupid. So. You can throw that right there if you don't get sacked. Arik Armstead, he's a pretty good pass rusher, I gotta say. Um, but yeah, uh, corner out, there you go. So you see the corner out beats man coverage. 
the halfback we already saw beats man coverage the post beats man coverage and now let's only look at the drag right here on this play it absolutely toasts man coverage now let's try that <laughs> let's try it again all right so drag on Thielen or on the tight end there you go uh-huh that is generally what they like to do and now you see this just gets all the way open now why does that work the tight end does not get pressed and that's the big thing he's gonna be covered by a linebacker most of the times he's not gonna get pressed he gets a drag free release easy money <laughs> excuse me there so these are very nice ways to beat man coverage one more thing that i want to show you guys drag olsen slam thielen block the halfback I, I I feel like I gotta show it, alright? I, I gotta show it. It's it's that good. This land beats man coverage as we know, and right there you see how powerful that post is. Can we take it for six? Yes, we can. Post is good. Read either the slant or the post. And also, didn't haven't mentioned this yet. Look at the corner out on the left side. Damn. He he absolutely toasted man coverage, but also the <laughs> Arik Armstead toasted my left tackle, so let's try that again. Okay, that was a little bit too late. But I'll go into practice mode to show you guys, or in the, into replay, and show you guys how open that corner rod was. It's, 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 it's wide open. Alright, so let's go right there. He gets, he wins the press. And there you go, wide open. Throw that, gets man coverage. It's pretty good. Now let's talk about zone coverage. That, it's, <laughs> I don't know. Zone coverage is kind of tough this year because not a lot of people are using it. But if people are starting to run it on you, you have to you have to know what to read. So we'll once again start with cover three. Cover three, it is a very easy coverage to run, but it is also because you have to know the specific place to beat it. Uh, you can't just run anything on it. There are some plays that will get absolutely bagged by stock uh, cover three. But if you know how to beat it. It's very easy to beat. You just have to know exactly how to do it. Now, once again, drag on Thielen, the only setup. Now, immediately when you see that tight end in the flat right there, take it. Take it. That's a lot of yards. Always take the tight end. Always take the check, check downs uh, also this year. So, oops. Cover three. <sighs> That's the first read. Second read is the drag. If you can throw the drag, then please throw it. That's the second read. The third read is going to be the running back. If you can throw the running back, throw the running back. So all of these throws are underneath. They're right in front of your face. So you can't miss them. Can't miss them. All right. So throw that. Very easy. Truck somebody. There you go. Go up the field. Simple reads. Now, let's talk about if they adjust. Ooh, what, what's, what, let's just run it against. Let's just run it against man coverage. Damn. Still sick. Uh, against man coverage, against cover three, with hard flats. Against hard flats, we can throw the post because we share it underneath. The post can be very easily thrown. Also, the most important route to throw against hard flats, you throw as soon as you see uh, the flat zone drop down. As soon as you see that, you throw the corner out. right there. I see him. All right, that's just the easiest thing in the world. Throw the corner out. It's it's such a nice cut. It's it's beautiful. It is beautiful. The depth of it is. Perfect. There really is no zone that can get to it. So let's step up right right there. It's just the simplest read in the world. Alright. So I'm going to do one thing. I am going to call a random play. Excuse me. Uh play type. Zone coverage. I wanna go random cover three zone. Alright. Random cover three zone. And I will show you my read progression. It is flat zone on the tight end. It is uh, drag route. And it is running back. That's the read progression. And after that, we can look to hit the corner of the post. All right, so snap the ball. I'm going to read it out, read it out, read it out. Easy. Just hit the drag for a lot of yards. Now, one more time. Let's throw the drag. Ooh. Are you getting a heavy blitz? No, we're not gonna, gonna get that. We're gonna get some zone coverage. We're gonna throw the drag. Let's go. Oh, very simple. One more time. I actually wanna. I actually wanna run this against. Uh, 
Can I please get a hard flat? I'm, I'm, I'm making a hard flat out of it. All right, the drag is not there. The corner out is easy money. Now, the post, we're only going to throw the post if we see the user uh, going away from the, uh, from the post. The post has to be user guarded. If the user is in the vicinity of it, we're not going to throw it. All right, that's the biggest thing. That was just 3D. We're not going to count that. But we always have to look at the user. All right, user is not there. We're going to throw it. We're going to throw a pick because throw out a sack is amazing. We're only going to throw the post if, you, if the user is not there. Now, that is basically it. Double post is my play against cover three and man coverage. It's it's honestly amazing. You just have to be really precise with your reads. Uh, if you want to see me uh, make the reads live against... That was actually a very terrible read. Don't... Don't, don't forget that one, alright? If you want to see me make these reads in-game, go follow the Twitch, turn on post notification. Every weekend league is going to be streamed over there. It's going to be a lot of fun with this bad boy. I finally can stream on the PC. I'm excited. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Be ready for the next parts. We're going to be talking about some other plays such as Pia Dick Ford. For, that is a great play because it has a very sick post route. Also, our favorite verticals gonna talk about that mesh post and a couple more plays to go this is an amazing offense you should this is basically what I'm running every play like this is the first thing I'm calling if you can't stop it I'm gonna run this every play because it is just that good your opponent has to know what he's doing otherwise he won't be able to stop it this play alone I'd say can get you about 15 wins a week in league this play alone thanks guys so much I'm out. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.